Hello, this is Nick, also known as Mr. Blend 5000. So, I've been thinking about what, what I should do next in Blender. I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to show everyone how I made my rocks for Lavascape. Because I know a lot of people are just starting Blender, you know. They they like... I know when I started, I had a lot of trouble making a decent rock. It's It's a simple, simple thing in life, but... You know, it's difficult to make a decent rock, so I, I, I'm just going to throw this together and see what happens. Alright, here we go. Also, I apologize in advance, I have a cold. The bad thing about being in university is if one person gets sick, then everyone gets sick. So I start sniffling and sneezing, that's, that's why. So, here we go. We're going to start with our default cube, as you can see. Ooh, default cube. How lovely. And we're going to tab over to edit mode. So we are now in edit mode. And, well, we're just going to subdivide it. Once, twice, and if, let's let's get let's let's do, let's do something crazy. We're just gonna subdivide it again. All right, so we have our cube with a crap ton of vertices, and now this is where the fun begins. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to sculpt mode. Oh yes, and dip, dip, right under here, uh, right above where it says multi res, you'll see a new toolbar up here, and one of the options is sculpt. So you're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna go down to the this thing that says grab. Now what this, this is going to do is whatever vertices are around your little circle here and you can change you can change the size of that just by adjusting this little knob around here. It's going to take those vertices and when you click down it's going to grab them and allow you to move them around. So pretty much what we're just going to do is click on random spots and we're just going to mess this cube right up. Like It doesn't even have to look decent. It's just going to look like a big ball of vertices and crap like that. So, here we go. Alrighty, so now I know what you're all thinking. What the hell, Mr. Blend 5000? <coughs> that does not look like a rock. No, it does not. That looks like a, a child that just got mauled by a bear or something like that. That's what that looks like, alright? That's like like that's like when a kobold fights a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's what the Tyrannosaurus Rex looks like when the kobold's done with him. Like, this is crazy right here. So... What we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click the smooth option. The smooth option. And what this is going to do is kind of even out our vertices. And it's pretty much just going to smooth everything. So watch. Watch what happens. You click down and you move your mouse around. Just, just around anywhere you want. You know, just, just like this. And, you know, get all the little odds and ends that are sticking out. And... Smooth in... Oh, the T Rex that just got destroyed by a cobold. Cobold, 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 cobold. Oh my god. This is looking more rock like by the second. Now, with this method, it's not going to be perfect. I like, guess this is a really rough job. But I think it get, it gives you pretty good results considering what this is like three minutes, and okay, we'll just say this is our our rock shape. This is our generic rock. So let's go back to object mode. Okay, and we're just gonna since rocks, you know, yeah, we're gonna set smooth. Wow, that's a pretty pretty rocky looking object. So. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. okay, and just for the hell of it, let's add some, let's add a ground here for our rock to sit on, because rocks don't float in midair, you know, they're, they're pretty, pretty, pretty solid objects that don't have hovering abilities. So here's, here's our rock. Oh, what a beautiful rock. Now, uh, I use rocks in the game engine. That's, that's, that's what I like using them for. So let's, let's just go ahead and split area. And open up the UV texturing, UV my bad, UV imaging editor. So now what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to put 
a texture on this rock that'll appear in the game engine. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> I forgot to do something vital. Before you subdivide the rock, make sure you put your texture on first. My experience with UV texturing is little to none. It's just enough to put an image. And I know if I if I go like this and I put a UV texture on this, tab dead mode, image, open. Uh, but, uh, what do we got here? Let's go to my desktop. Um, where is my rock texture? Lava texture, lava, 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 rock, stone. Here we go. And we go over to textured. You're getting oh, okay. Well, that's not the right one, but you see what I mean. They act in tiles. Like for every square, you'll get a tile of this. I'm not sure really how how to fix that at all. So if you know, please tell me. I will I will love you forever. Um, what is this? Yeah, I did nothing, but yeah. So you get the gist of it, though. Before before you go ahead and do all this crazy stuff, put put the put the texture on, please, please. I, I will I would appreciate that, and I know you'll you'll appreciate it too. So let's see if I can find my real one. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, one second, my phone's ringing. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, my, my headphones are in. Sorry. Yes. Yes. No problem. All right, no problem. Bye. Oh, my roommate was making sure that his steak was in the fridge. Oh dear. Anyhow, so yeah, it was a very poorly textured rock. Um, yeah. So I hope that helped you. It's really not that difficult at all. Like, actually, just to show you what the the end result is, let's go over to Lavascape. Do 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 do, and hope my game doesn't crash, because if it does, that'll be really annoying. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And what the hell? There we go. This is really really laggy. Holy crap. Zoom in, zoom in. All these rocks. I took them. They were cubes. I put the texture on them. And I did the whole sculpty thing. As you can see, there's still there's still seams in the rocks from like where the corners of the the edges of the cubes were, but no biggie. No biggie whatsoever. It's all good. It's all good. Anywho, thank you for watching. I hope now you can if if you're new to Blender, you can go make some awesome rocks. Impress your friends if if they're into Blender. Um, I know I meet I meet very few people who are into Blender, but oh well, I love doing it, so I don't care. Ha ha ha. Anywho, this is Mr. Blend Five Thousand, also known as Nick, and you all have a wonderful, wonderful day.